Hi, my name is Danica Whitcomb, and I would like to share my action research proposal with you. I was very interested in studying yoga and the effects that yoga would play into an elementary classroom. Through the action research process, I am aiming to learn from my practice and to inform my future actions. And this process has given me the opportunity to do just that. I'd like to share my results with you as well as get you interested in potentially attempting some of these things in your own classroom because I do believe that the benefits are important and that they'll be useful for primary grades and potentially other grades as well. I got interested in implementing yoga because it's something that I'm passionate about. I believe that mental health is a very important thing, especially in our society and the way that our world is right now. The importance of mental health cannot be stressed enough and our young students and young learners really need to be in a good place with mental health. My theory of action is that when first grade students are practicing yoga in the classroom three or more times a week, they'll experience benefits in academic performance and in overall mental health. This outline of my plan, I really want to just implement yoga and see how that affects the students. I drew on lots of data in order to make my plan. So I looked at studies from a couple of people who had done research similar to mine before and used their data to inform where I was going with it. So some of the studies were from Tersen de Pavil, Shrev, Stapp, and Bazano, and all of these studies showed benefits to implementing yoga in elementary classrooms. They all focused kind of on different areas. Some implemented yoga a couple times a week, some it was once or even before and after school programs. Um, all of them happening in elementary classrooms, third grade and up. And in each and every case, they saw benefits. Some saw more mental health benefits, while others saw more benefits in academic performance. And my goal was to see if that data would translate to first grade students. Since there hadn't really been data collected with students in the primary grades, that's where I chose my focus because I am a first grade teacher with the hope that it would transfer and translate to my young students. So there was a lot of data out there showing that it would be supported and that it would transfer to my kids and that is what happened. So my plan, I, I decided to implement yoga into my classroom. And so I did. I started implementing yoga three times a week. I also was tracking my data through the use of surveys, through student surveys, through teacher surveys, through testing data. I looked at a lot of information pre-yoga implementation and post-yoga implementation. And my study only lasted for about a week or so, but the goal here would be to continue the study and to keep it going for longer to see the long-term benefits. Um, in my short amount of time, I was able to see benefits. I saw a big improvement in mental health. Almost 78% of my students, their perceived mental health was rated higher after a week of yoga implementation than it was at the beginning. And that matched with my teacher data. I also surveyed, did a survey for the students myself to gauge how they are mentally and that improved throughout the week. I did see a little academic growth, but that's one area that I really would like to continue this research in to see if long term there are more academic benefits to implementing yoga. So I used a program called Cosmic Kids Yoga. It is a free online resource with somebody who does yoga better than I do and relates it to the kids. She's fun and engaging and the kids really had a great time doing yoga along with her. She ties in some literacy storytelling through her yoga and really gets the kids interested and excited about doing it. So I implemented three times a week. I surveyed my students before and after to see how they were feeling. We looked at some testing data and I also conducted student interviews to see how students felt about the yoga implementation and how they felt like it impacted them. And I only really saw positive things after just a week. So I'm so curious what would happen if we continued this research long term. 
there's some involvement. If you choose to get involved with this, it's not too difficult. Luckily, there are a lot of resources out there to help and not a lot of work required in order to see some positive changes. So some involvement um, would be teachers. I mean, the teacher would really be the one driving everything here. The teacher would lead um, teacher would lead the program with some surveys for students. That would be something the teacher would need to do to track the data just like I did before and after the yoga implementation um, to choose a yoga program, whether that be the teacher doing it themselves or you could select one like I did, Cosmic Kids, a free online resource. And the timetable here would be about six months. That would be my goal. A lot of the data that I looked at in order to inform my research uh, didn't have long-term effects. It was all very short for studies, about six weeks at a time or so. And I would like to take this longer and see long-term, how does this benefit kids? Six months or more, how are students benefiting mentally and academically from some yoga, from movement in their lives? We know that movement is so important, especially to young brains in connection to learning and health. And so I believe that this data would translate long-term and would like to see if that could happen. Some expected outcomes, I really expect to improve mental health um, from both students and teachers, overall positive feelings and improved academic performance. Um, if students are feeling better mentally, think about the ripple effect that this can have in your classroom. Hopefully less behaviors, better academic performance, more engagement, um, positive feelings about school. There's so many benefits that I think can come from and a better overall state of mental health. When students feel good, there's nothing they can't do. And that's what I'm aiming to do with this research. I hope that you're excited about this research with me and would like to join into it. I'm going to continue doing this research even after this class is over because I'm just so curious about the long-term benefits that it could have for my students. So thank you so much for listening. I hope that you learned something and are excited and interested to join in and hopefully make a difference for some kids.